All right, we're here at the first annual Irish Day at uh, John Carroll, and we have the uh, USGAA here. First of all, tell us, Vincent, good to see you. Yeah. Beautiful day here. What What is GAA? Well, GAA stands for Gaelic Athletic Association. So uh, the national sports of Ireland is our Gaelic football, hurling, and there's a ladies' version called camogie for hurling. Okay. So those are the sports. Um, they've been played since... 1800s in Ireland and as soon as they started playing in Ireland they also came over here to the United States so here in Cleveland we've been playing Gaelic games for over 100 years. Wow. Um, our club is St. Pat's, St. Charlotte's. Uh, we say we were established in 1948, but you know there's history going all the way back to 1915. Um, so we do play all, all, we call them codes. We play both codes, hurling, football, camogie, ladies football. So these are our adult teams, um, our kids. We have a youth program as well that also plays. So we start those guys at age five, we go up to 16, 18 years old. You know, I see from your banner here, <laughs> Yep, you've so, had a lot of success. <laughs> so, the uh, we're under the USGAA, which is considered a county to G the GAA. So the GAA, all 32 counties in Ireland are, con are in the competition. Um, the USGAA is considered one of those counties. New York is considered its own county. London is considered its own county. Canada. So, there's um, international units, and we're one of those international units. So every year we get together and have a national championship. Wow. We've, we've had a lot of success, especially recently, um, at the national level. So we play other teams as well in the in the Midwest area: um, Cincinnati, Detroit, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Akron, and then up the upstate New York teams in Rochester, Syracuse, and, and uh, Albany. So for our uh, American viewers who may not know, you know, they know football. Yeah, I played rugby many years. Uh -huh. I know rugby, but so, tell us some of the distinctions from like uh, hurling or Gaelic football or something. Sure, I'll start with Gaelic football. Um, I when I have new players or new kids that are coming into the program, I ask, hey, what's what's the game is? What is the game? I, I tell the parents, and it's it's basketball on grass a bit. It's soccer, basketball, and volleyball put together. There's no wrap up tackling. It's um, we do do some shoulder to shoulder hitting, but other than that. Um, you can run with the ball for four steps. Then you got to take a basketball dribble. You can run four more steps. You can't take another basketball dribble. We call a, you have to do a toe tap or a solo. You drop the ball off your foot, bounce it back up to your wow. hands, and keep going. Um, passing, we are punt kicking and bumping like a volleyball for passing. And the whole objective is to score. We get a point through the uprights for one point, or we go past the goalie for three points. Um, it's a full field. There's 13 aside. The field's bigger than a soccer field, and um, no offsides or anything. So it's kind of spread out. It's it's fast paced, and being able to score over the bar or, or under the goal, it, there's a lot of scoring that goes on. So it makes it pretty exciting. The hurling side of it is um, let me grab a so the hurling side, this is this is a hurling stick. It's played with a ball called a slitter, kind of like a baseball. Um, the only equipment we have is a helmet for this game. It's exactly like Gaelic football, except we're playing with a small ball and a stick. Okay. Okay. And uh, again, we're trying to hit it over the bar for one point or pass the goalie for three. Um, so these are the two majors. The most popular sports in Ireland, it's, it's a fabric in the community throughout the whole country, and we have it here in Cleveland as well. That's amazing. So I know we're going to see a demo at halftime of the John Carroll game today, some Gaelic football, but if people are interested in Cleveland area or beyond to uh, learn about or maybe get involved, yeah. where should they go? ClevelandGAA.com. That'll take you to our website, and we got links from there to the social media feeds, our schedule, what's going on in our, in our world. World, but uh, ClevelandGAA.com, Cleveland Gaelic Athletic Association. Man, it sounds like a lot of fun. You know, I, I'd never heard it growing up. Let's say rugby. Rugby was a blast. Yeah. But uh, this, you know, some of this basketball and soccer and yeah. volleyball mix. It, it sounds like a lot of fun. So we'll check out, uh, check you guys out at halftime, and then go to the website. Great. Thanks a lot, Vince. Thank you.